Hello and welcome to our short but sweet review of the mini suites on board Princess Cruise's brand new Sky Princess. Before we show you around, please hit that subscribe button and bell notification and we'll stay in touch. You know, the way old friends do. Apart from I hardly ever stay in touch with old friends. But I digress. Please press the button anyway. We were lucky enough to be on Sky Princess for her inaugural voyage. Her very first with paying passengers, and we decided to treat ourselves by booking a mini suite. The stateroom that sits between Princess's standard balcony cabin and their full fat, wallet munching, multi chambered swank pads, which are very nice indeed, but out of our reach. The mini suite size is approximately 323 square feet, including balcony, which compares quite well to the standard suites found on board the smaller ultra luxury lines. The Seaborn Encore and Silver Sea Silver Muse have more space, but I'd put that down to at least in part to larger balconies, they like to call them verandas, and bigger bathrooms, which have a dedicated shower cubicle as well as a bath, unlike here, which we'll see shortly. The room itself doesn't feel any smaller than those I've just mentioned, and is very similar indeed in style and layout. Compared to the standard balcony cabin, this room is beautifully proportioned, and on longer voyages, worth the extra money. The queen beds on Princess are near legendary for their comfort. The colours and fabrics used feel rich and expensive, and the pillows I can only describe as, well, like your head's being cradled in the arms of an angel, wearing a jacket of pure cloud. The bedside tables are marble topped, but there's no full size power sockets here. But if you look closely, there's a USB slot built into the bedside lamp. Very handy. But the lamps are fixed onto the top, so they annoyingly impact the usable surface space. A wall mounted light would have been much more practical. The large recessed overhead light is a nice feature. And if you look closely, Princess has concealed the air conditioning vents in here, making them all but invisible. Clever stuff. As with many suites this size and shape, there's a chunky blackout curtain divider that pulls across to separate the bedroom area from the lounge area, effectively making two rooms. The living area itself has plenty of space to lounge during the day. The sofa is a full three length seater that can be converted into a bed if needed. This is the longest sofa I've seen in a suite this size. Even a giraffe could lounge on here without getting a neck ache. The marble topped vanity unit has lots of room for your stuff and the mirror is well lit. There's a fixed hairdryer in the top drawer and a hidden fridge that comes empty, which is much more convenient and useful than one stocked up with stuff you'll never purchase. There are Euro and US sockets nicely spaced apart to make them more usable and a US socket the other end by the phone. As it's a mini suite, you get two large flat screen TVs, one on the wall at the end of the bed and one here, so arguing over what to watch is easily solved, although who gets to watch with the volume up is another matter. Moving now to the other end of the suite, there's a tiny unit here which we use to throw our medallions on. We use the medallion clips by the way as we like to keep our medallions discreet. Hmm, that's a phrase I never thought I'd say. The dressing area is similar in size to an ordinary cabin, and this was a brand new ship. We got brand new, never before worn robes, and they were so ridiculously soft and comfy we could have spent all day, every day in them, which would have looked a little odd, especially on formal night. The bathroom is fully tiled and a nice size, but we'd have preferred the shower to be in its own glass cubicle instead of over the bath with the dreaded clingy shower curtain. Ugh. This is a mini suite after all. The shower head was adjustable though, and the water pressure was excellent. Also, the little amenity kit you get is handy, and the soaps are from the Lotus Spa. A 
Lastly, the balcony, which is disappointingly shallow, claustrophobic and no bigger than a standard cabin's balcony. It's not sweet class by any means and we were a bit disappointed they couldn't shoehorn in a little extra legroom. I'm not going to end on a low note though. Overall, we'd definitely recommend a mini suite. In fact, we've booked one for the inaugural voyage on the Enchanted Princess later this year. So please subscribe if you want to learn more about the fleet's newest princess. And check out our princess playlist for lots more princess content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.